Hi, this is Rob Shaw from Safety Coaching. It's a very short video to guide you through the content of our Quarries Regulations e-learning course that's available now on our website at safetycoaching.com. Once you've purchased the course through the website, you'll be sent a login email and a password which will allow you to access the course materials. You're given an opportunity to change your password if you wish once you enter the course. So once you're into the main course materials, this is the page that you see when you arrive. And it starts off with giving you some basic instructions of how you use the software and how you use the e-learning. It's incredibly simple and anyone with a basic level of computer knowledge should be able to navigate around it. The course itself is split into a series of modules. So we cover all the main elements of the quarries regulations. And we start off with the very basics through regulation three. What does the word quarry mean? Then we look at how it's applied and how we apply demarcation. We look at the quarry operator's duties and we look at how we design and safely work the quarry. So the first module is all around the scene setting of the first part and the first few regulations within the quarry's regulations themselves. So as we can see an example here of the material that we cover, so you can see it's in depth, it talks about written permissions, it talks about how you record, what you do with the information that's provided, and how you deal with resources. As we go into the second module, it's how we manage the quarry. So we talk about regulation seven, which is the health and safety document. We look at regulation eight, and as you can see there, we have some videos embedded that are delivered by myself, Rob Shaw, on practical measures in order to comply with certain parts of the regulations. So for example, in regulation eight, we'll talk about how you make the quarry management appointments and how you make sure you keep the records maintained in relation to that. As we carry on going through, we'll talk about regulation nine, training and competence, and we'll look at written schemes and how we review health and safety measures. What we have as well is we have quick quizzes at the end of each module couple of questions and it leads you on to the next module. So on to the next module which is about risk control. So we talk about inspections, benches and haul roads, the vehicle rules, escape and rescue facilities, permits to work and safety drills. And again this module will culminate with a quick quiz and an end of module video. Drilling and blasting. We're not going to go into great depth within this course in relation to drilling and blasting because there's obviously specific qualifications on the competency of these particular areas. We cover the main legal requirements and the operator's duties and what you need to do to comply with the regulations. And again, this culminates with a quick quiz. Excavations and tips. We talk about how excavations and tips management works. For example, what's the best practice in design? So we'll talk about how you achieve the design and, and how it actually works. Here's another few examples. So we'll talk about the excavations and tips rules, what the requirements are, what the excavations and tips rules should cover. You can see by the worked examples. And we have small videos embedded, very short videos throughout the course to really embed learning. On to the next module, we talk about worker involvement. So we're looking at Reg 39, cooperation and participation of people at work, culminating in talking about health surveillance. A very short module on record keeping and notifying the HSC of quarrying operations. And then we finish off with some appendices, with some information on how you work with the appendices around the quarries regulations and some hints and tips as we go through every single module about how you comply. There's some also some other useful things that we've attached as part of this e-learning course, so you can access some resources at the bottom of the screen as you're going. And there's also a glossary of terms in relation to some of the common things we talk about. As an additional offering, we've also put in here some information on RIDOR for quarries. So we talk about RIDOR, we talk about the types of RIDOR specifically for quarry environments and how they work. And then we talk about what the HSE through Quinjack have recommended that you do in relation to affecting the scene following a RIDOR related incident. 
The course finishes with a short 10 question multi-choice assessment. It's very easy, it covers the course materials, simple multi-choice process. So the course itself will take a few hours to go through. Strongly recommend that you don't do it all in one sitting. You can access the course and then come back to it and the software will allow you to return to where you left off so you can do the course in bite-sized chunks. I really hope you've enjoyed this short video of how our Quarries Regulations e-learning course works. I really hope we can invite you and get you onto a e-learning course in relation to this subject whenever you're ready. Thanks very much for listening.